Guys, 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 the latest and the greatest news. Well, I don't know if greatest, but definitely the biggest news that is circling around in the Twitter streets of figure skating is that there is a new addition to Team Tutprizze, one that nobody expected, and I'm not sure anyone truly wanted, and it is Italian figure skater Daniel Grasso. Yes, you heard me correctly. It is being reported now in the media, the Russian media, the Twitter streets, and everywhere else that Daniel Grasso is ready to to start cooperation with Tutperice on an ongoing permanent basis, meaning he's left his coach and has joined Team Tutperice. What do I think about this? It is the biggest mistake any male figure stater could make, especially one that is so late in his career as Daniel Grosso. And late, I don't mean that his career is ending. I mean that he's already established himself as somebody who is recognized as talented in the world of figure skating. And going to Team Tutberitze, going specifically to a Terry Tutberitze, who is known to have success in one single field, which is essentially, she knows how to drive one vehicle, which is a female young body from the ages of, what, 12 to to roughly 16 and that is it? Why in the world would you think it is a good idea to go to this coach being a 21 year old Italian male? And I'm sorry for all the gender talking, but this is how we gotta talk. This is the sport. This is the way that we work. This is the way the Team Tutperizza works. And this is how they see things, black and white. And in this world, Daniel Grasso, I really don't think is going to have success. Yes, they had a Paris team, but did you see how many coaches they had? Tarasov and Morozov had five people behind them. Team Tutperice and then some. It literally took a village to get them a silver medal at the Olympics, which is high praise. It's a freaking silver medal at the Olympics. But also, it took five people. Like, Team Tutperice was just there. All that they got from Team Tutperice was a push in the media, a ponytail pulling from Eteri Tutberitze herself, and then everything else technical was done by Maxim Trankov, which was another addition to this little five people team for the pairs. The most that they got, honestly, was Corey choreography from Daniel Glackenhaus and we all know how we feel about the Daniel Glackenhaus choreography so I would say they didn't get much but they still walked away with a silver medal so to me this is a mistake Daniel Grasso is I think not the ripe sort of skater that flourishes in a Team Tutberitze environment. And we all know the old saying, say it with me, a Terry breaks boys. She has yet to have a male figure skater with success, and she has yet to have a male figure skater stick around for long enough. And don't even mention Morisi. Morisi is a perfect example of how a Terry does not have success with male figure skaters. Like, he is the exemplification of that. And Morisi is essentially the only skater that a Terry has right now, which drives me to my point of why I think this is happening. Because while this in my head is a big minus for Daniel Grasso, it is a huge plus for Team Tutberitze and for Terry Tutberitze because now they actually have a figure skater who can place in international competitions. Let us not forget, Russia is still banned. So having an Italian skater literally allows them to compete internationally. Like they are now back in the game, literally. And yes, Morizi also was in the game, but have we seen Morizi? I don't even think he trains in Russia anymore. There's supposed to be this rule that I don't even think you could train in Russia and you still wanted to compete in international competitions. So I don't know how this is even happening. I don't know if that's a true rule or just a rule that has been spoken around, but how did the Italian Federation approve this? Why did Daniel Grasso think this was a good idea? Like, if we honestly think about this, Eteri Tutperisa has success in a very very specific discipline, which is the ladies' discipline. On top of that, she has a very specific age range, which is 12 to 16, in terms of the medals, the accolades that her skaters get. And then on top of that, her turnover is insane. Like, it's not like we're talking about Team Tutberitze three, four years ago, where they had a plethora of skaters, six, seven, eight. Right now, Drusova left them. Camila Valieva is still under investigation for the doping. So even if Russia comes back to the Olympics, come back to the international scope, she's probably not going to be included because the case against her is getting stronger and bigger. Anna Sherbakova is not skating anymore. She's essentially pre-retired. Same goes for Evgenia and for Alina, who are still under the umbrella of Team Tubritze, but not skating. And then who's left? Daria Zushova and Maya Kromik disappeared into thin air. We have yet to see them. I don't think we ever will see them again. I'm really trying to think of who's left. <laughs> Kostornaya left. 
greatly in a big fashion. She didn't even leave. She was kicked out. So who do they have? Genuinely, who do they have? They have Petrosian and Akatieva. That's it. And their window of opportunity is also closing. So my guess here is that he's going to get attention. He's definitely getting media attention now. But in terms of coaching attention, he's going to get it as long as he's the only opportunity they have. Right now, they don't have that many names. They don't have that many skaters. So they just acquired one. And they're going to be able to compete in international competitions. So if she wanted spectacle, if Daniel Grassl wanted attention, he's going to get all the attention and Atari is going to get all the spectacle. And yes, like we've seen something similar before. If you guys don't know, a few years back, Shoma Uno, yes, the man of the hour of the season, Shoma Uno went to Team Tutberice in Russia, Novogorsk, and he was there for about a summer. But it is my understanding that every summer they do kind of take international skaters, pay them a visit. Like there's been a lot of people who just kind of come and go through these little programs that they do in the summer, but it is not summertime and they is being talked about as permanent so this is a very different scene for Daniel Grasso like he's here to stay and like I said I think this was only a smart move for Team Tutberice and a complete detriment for Daniel Grasso because I don't think he's going to get the attention he thinks that he's going to get actually you know what he will get the attention I don't think he's going to get the coaching he thinks he's going to get he'll get the political power as much as it can reach because they're still banned so like what truly is he getting <laughs> I am confused. Not to mention that Tintu Perice, her political power is kind of in limbo, in my opinion, because she is bleeding skaters, essentially. They're all leaving her. She is still caught in the middle of this controversy with her biggest star, Camila Valieva, the only one who has stayed, the new Anna Sharakova, essentially, in terms of loyalty to Tintu Perice. She is still under investigation. They won't reveal anything more from the case, and they won't tell us what the conclusion of the case will be. But all that we can hear is that it's not looking good for Camila Valieva. And then on top of that, she is not even going to international competitions anymore. So who knows if her web, if her political hand can go that far anymore. So this just kind of opens the door for Team Tutberice, for Terry Tutberice herself, essentially, to just kind of step into the table and play the game that she is probably missing playing from not going to all these international competitions. And I think the timing is very specific because let us not forget that her daughter, Diana Davis, is in the process of trying to skate for the USA. They're in training in the USA. She married her partner so he can get the USA nationality. And Terry's spending all of her Christmases and holidays in the US of A, which tells me that because they're not leaving the country, not even for any sort of Russian event or holidays, that they truly are in the middle of trying to get any sort of nationality settled in for them. And I think just Ateri wants to be closer into the international game because of her daughter. I think this has nothing to do with Daniel Grasso. I think she just wants to kind of find her footing and make sure she understands the game so that her daughter is best suited for when she finally makes her debut as a USA figure skater. That is my crazy conspiracy theory. I honestly think that Daniel Grass was being used. Please excuse the children screaming in the background. <laughs> my neighbors are having fun. Meanwhile, I'm having a nervous breakdown as per usual. But I truly, truly believe that a Terry Tutberice is only taking on another international figure skater that she can get back into the game with because she wants to be ready and poised and make sure that her political tentacles reach anywhere they need to reach in order to better protect her daughter's placement as soon as she gets on the USA's figure skating team. I genuinely believe that. Because if you think about it, Eteri Tupiritsa is shrouded now in a lot of controversy. Like right now, she has been bleeding skaters essentially. They're all leaving. She has only Camila Valieva left, who is still under the doping scandal and trial. So that's still ongoing. Eteri Tupiritsa has been out of the game for a season and a half now. So what better way to get back into it, to get your political power back in place to make sure that people still know that you're a head dog at the table or whatever by getting an international skater under your claws. I feel like Terry wasn't the one who reached out to Daniel Grasso. I'm pretty sure that it was him who reached out to Team Tutberice because this is a move of blind ambition, emphasis on blind. However, this fits to Tutberice's plans como dedo en el anillo, as you say in Spanish, like a ring on a finger. It fits perfectly and it's only going to help her. Why do I think Daniel Grasso chose this move? Honestly, blind ambition. He believes that he needs a dramatic change and this is as dramatic as you can get. He believes that he needs more political pool, which Tutberitza has in bucket loads, and she will have even more so as soon as she has a male skater and a skater who can actually 
perform at all of these international competitions. And I believe that he genuinely thinks she has some sort of magic something. Because if you think about it, the accolades that Tudorica has, there's nothing to be played around with. But as we've seen time and time again, they have a very strict, very strict formula. And those ingredients require young prepubescent girls. And by the time they reach 18, they're out. We have not seen this change once. It has been the same from the very beginning. As soon as Team Tudorica factory opened and started delivering all these little model of dolls, that has been the way. So I don't know why Daniel Grasso thinks he would fit in that mold. I don't know if he was just shopping around and then Team Peritze or Terry herself convinced him to come or if it was just I want to work with you please let me work with you and then Terry thought about it and thought about all she could gain because she again how does she keep doing this? She has nothing to lose again. She has only to gain. She will gain a new high profile name. She will gain a new skater and she needs some of those because she's losing those and she will gain a male skater a field which she has yet to have success in. Nothing to lose, only stuff to gain. Meanwhile, Dino Grasso has everything to lose. And this is how I think it's going to turn out. I think on the short term, we're going to see improvement because he's going to be on his A game. In Team Tutberitze, they don't play around. You're going to practice the most you've ever practiced. You're going to do repetitions the most you've ever done it. And in the short term, I think he will look like he is excelling and he probably will excel it won't look he will excel however how long can this last will it last will it last a season will it last two because with the pairs they got them all the way to silver medal at the olympics however they came really close before the olympics they're already russian they came essentially with their own coaching team they just were under the crystal knee and under this new political power and this new like media push so all they needed was that extra oomph with daniel grassel you just don't need an extra oomph you need it in everything you need it from the ground up because they don't have the system in place he's not russian he's not a, a young girl they don't have a coach that they can pull like they did with maxim trankov to be like here's your specialist or maybe they do but the best male specialist in russia i would say is professor mission so i don't know who they're gonna bring in or even plushenko is better suited to teach him than team tutperitze so i don't know i think this is going to be the scientific experiment of a lifetime and i'm just hoping that this boy comes out of his experience with a few medals and no injuries because i fear i fear that he will come out injured the saying is not a terry does not make great male skaters the saying is a terry breaks boys and we've already seen her break more than just a boy we've seen her break multiple boys we've seen her break what was the name of that little one daniel samsamov samisov never seen him again a few boys that move from tutberitsa to plushenko as well and we've seen her break girls like a terry breaks skaters should be honestly the saying not just a terry breaks boys and he's coming fully grown fully integrated into his own technique so i don't know how he's going to change his technique which is already avant-garde with the head and the mouth opening and then changing it or adjusting it to team tutoritze also i hope that every single one of his drug examinations comes out clean i'm just gonna say that because if any issue in terms of doping occurs with daniel grassel it's gonna ruin not just his career but team tutoritze might just implode because that would be an unarguable proof that the culpable people were the coaches in the camp so hopefully nothing in that vein ever happens but yeah i think this is going to be a disaster i think he will succeed in the short term and maybe like two three competitions i give it i don't think he's going to come out being like the man of the hour shoma uno exists freaking Ilya malinin exists this is a man a young man who already has an uphill battle and now changing into this completely new environment which is already rough with a complete new coach was already rough but also the roughest coach in the roughest environment competitively in russia of all places i i don't know i don't know also i don't know if i said this already there's supposedly a rule that you can't even train in russia and be allowed at international competitions so how did the italian federation approve this how did the isu approve this how did this get official i don't know I don't know all the legalities of whether Tupperitza can even go to him to competitions. Can she? Can do that cough? That's who I imagine they would send. I have no clue. But I will cover every single moment of this. You can bet on 
combat. And I wish nothing but good to Daniel Grassel. I hope that he takes into account everything that people are telling him on the outside that we know of Tim Tutberitze, their history, their long storied history. And I hope that he is in more control of his training than the control that it is given to the Tim Tutberitze skaters that we know. Because he's a man, you know what I mean? Like you can't really boss around a man. Like you can a 12 to 16 year old girl. You know what I mean? I hope he has more autonomy over his training. I hope that this actually makes him a better skater, but also a more joyful skater. I hope he still enjoys figure skating because you can tell he freaking adores it. And I hope that this doesn't break that spirit. Tintus Beritze, if you wanted eyes on you, the whole world is now looking because this is going to be the freaking science experiment of a lifetime. I think it's going to fail. I think it's set up to fail. Terry has nothing but power and name recognition to gain. And Daniel Grassel is putting himself in the most volatile of environments. And if he thrives, it is a testament to the strength of his character and the strength of his athleticism. And the thing is, I think he will thrive in the short term. And if he does leave, oh my God, what will be the conditions by which he leaves? Because we all know that every Team Tutberitze skater has one thing in common, and that is a dramatic freaking exit out of Team Tutberitze. Dramatic as fuck. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, Daniel Grasso. I wish you the best. What do you guys think? This is insane. I still, I thought people were joking to me when they, when they said that. But it's true, it feels permanent, and the first competition that he arrives with anyone from Tim Tutberitze behind him in the kiss and cry will be a moment where I will be screaming and crying. <laughs> As always, thank you and shout out to my Patreons, my VIPs, Karina, Katie, Leslie, Natalia, and Timothy. And I will talk to all of you soon. Bye-bye.